resources, bring all the cameras together, right? Like you was telling me, you and the boy shot a whole movie or, or something like a movie or something, Sizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Bob said he produced a movie, you know. Back at you, TV Land. We back at you, man. Hey, man, you see the title, man. You see what it say, man. Nitro, what it do, Nitro? Hey, man, it's them Watch Boys, man. The round table, man. It's them Watch Boys, the round table, man. Three different segments, sections, man. Three different sections, man. From them WNGs to the non deuces, man, to the BBWs, man. Be by watch that is, baby. We in the building, man. Smooth, cool. I got my boy PD over here, man. Let's turn this camera around right there, TV land. It's all about my guys right now, man. Yes, sir. And what we doing right now, we in the studio. And since I had them here, you know, they popped in on Holler at G for a minute. Holler at they guy, man, as we do. We tap in, stay fun function with each other. So I said, damn, why well, I got my boys in here, man? Let's just drop a little freestyle for the people right now, man. Let's speak on some things that's on our mind, just subconsciously that we're aware of, man. So we just going to sit here, chill. You know, as you see they, they, in the background, we rolling up, man. So this is expensive, dope content, man. And we gonna chill, man, and just chop it up on a freestyle level, man. So real quick, before the cameras was rolling, we were just speaking on association and PD had something on his mind. He was talking about uh, the Obama situation. What was that you was saying, man? Obama, he just pushed the uh, homosexual agenda. And we didn't know about the, the the alphabet boys, not them alphabet boys, but another alphabet <laughs> boys. What do you mean we didn't know about it? Did you know about that movement, that, that alphabet movement, the gay movement before Obama? Okay, see, what, what, here, here's the thing, Pete. On, on that, it's like a lot of things America didn't know about because it used to be called, quote, unquote, a secret society. The reason why we didn't know about it, because it was a secret. Now, because the agenda has been pressed to the point where that secret is no longer a secret. They want it to be an open society now. So it became open. This is how our awareness came about. That's how we start finding out. Now, through that very individual that we were looking up to as our black savior and hero that we thought was going to go into office for eight years and kick down the doors for the black man and black woman was just a puzzle, man. He was a piece to the puzzle. Feel me? He was yeah. a puppet. Yeah. So now, here come the move. That secret comes out of the closet. It's no longer a secret now. It's an open society. So now, this is fear. Why now you they don't care what you think or what. We got None. all the positions. We run this. This is what it is. Covered. We need you to understand this is what it is. Hey, a monopoly, we brought up all the buildings. In other words, they got all the positions covered. So, so he was their checkmate. Basically, that point. <laughs> like, and, like then, it low. and then how do you think the same sex marriage came about you mean hey, man, that, man, you think that just you think that just happened somebody work. else been pressing that now, issue watch how God work. Hold years hold ago on. long before that watch but this. because of the forces in within mm -hmm. from the democrat and the republic situation as far as the politics goes it wasn't time secret society said no it ain't time we ain't ready yet that's the only reason why they've been pushed the agenda, been pressed the line. So now it's the time. So they pressed the line. And now this is where we at with it. 
It's watch open. This open. It ain't that door ain't never closing. No, watch this. I'm here to tell you that for a fact. That door has never closed. It's gonna keep swinging. It ain't never closing, man. Hey, man, you tapped in, you buzzed in right now, man, to Rules of Engagement 2414. I need you to go push that like, share, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, man. I got them watch boys in the building right now, man. We are in the building, man. Three different sections, man. Three different areas, man. We are all congregated together, man, because we one for us, man. And together, we are unstoppable, man. Y'all need to know that, man. Sit on the couch, man, and sit back where you at, man, on the block, man, or in your trap house, man, and chill with us, man. We just chopping it up right now, man. We're in the building. It's your favorite host, CEO Nino Cappuccino, a.k.a. Bonnie Hunter BJ. So, yeah, man, what you were saying, cool, smooth? Man, I'm trying to find this video I just came across a couple of days ago, and it was Obama, and he was talking about how he married Tom. Whoever who we supposed to be mad find that video. What I said, oh no, it's just, <laughs> hey, oh, that's crazy because no what that does is it takes us back to no, the, the rumor where they were trying to say on, that Michelle was this is the rumor. He, he, well, man, this is crazy. Said she was a TS. That poor. So he said he married Tom. And See, I man, said, this 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 is why it's so important of education, bro, yeah, in life, part, period, too, because man. They have blind. They, they blind our parents. First of all, it starts well, we, with our three parents, generations, their yeah. parents, yeah, and their parents. Lost. They have lied to us so much, bro, lost. and blind us. That's why I say maybe folks. The internet is great and, and it's bad. Well, the greatness is is because secret society is no longer a secret yeah. society. It's an open society, so they're willing to teach us and let us know. Yeah, motherfucker, we this get, is what's going on. It's like they. It's like that. the fools. Yeah, we poison you, motherfuckers. So yeah, do? The FDA just just. Legalize two companies, the whole two NBA. major companies we right to, now. We, we to they name the companies. No, you can't do shit. That, with, 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 when the masses tell them. you, hey, no, it's cool. They're gonna be making fake meat, man. It's going into all so your products. Still and still right still right now. But then you know, you either eat it or you don't. When the who tell you? When the who tell you? It's two companies right now. Feel me? That they authorized already and told them it's a green light. Yeah, we like the idea. Biotech meat, bro. They making tech meat with fucking lasers, man. Meat, bro. Great. It look like bacon. It look like fucking hamburger meat. It look like the meat. It look like the texture of the meat. But the shit is bio textured meat from biochemicals, bro. From the biotech labs. You know what I'm saying? So they're making the fake meat. I had a homeboy. He said, uh, his son, he said, he got robbed. And then he said, how the fuck I don't tell go to bed for you and they took you took your purse. How don't go to bed? <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the video though. This is oh wow. This is a picture. Hold on, Pete. Hold on, hold on. I'm saying, I'm saying, no, no, nah, nah, hold on, Pete. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, finish that. So, you saying your boy's son is a TS or no, he, he just he went oh, on. he what? Oh, see, that's enough. Hope man, I'm glad you brought that up, bro. You can't convince this generation, you can't convince these niggas. Then it's like, hold on, nigga, you ain't even from this generation. And you mean tell me your mind is that warped and fucked up to not understand? You know damn well that's a violation. Men ain't got no business wearing a purse, period. You know, look, In no type look. of form or fashion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now what you're telling me is how a nigga supposed to come back and do something when you just got robbed carrying a purse. Yeah. It's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I ain't got smoke yet. Yeah, man, send this to me, man. I, I, I need that. That's yeah. the topic. And then, and then, look. I need that. Come on, look. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. You Listen, just brought that Michael up. And I, Come on, man. You Jack. just brought that up. Well, what's it? So, so moving along while you look up that, then yeah, so we we speak it. This one, right? Yeah. So we speaking we speaking in terms as for us the alphabet community, right? Yeah. And the reason why to answer back to answering your question as to why we never knew about it, but this is why I just explained to you because it has always been. A secret society. That's why you used to hear that word 
secret society thrown around because that's what it was. <laughs> what they say it was a taboo. It was secret society. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's no longer a secret. It's in the opening. So now that that secret is now longer is in the opening, why do you think the agenda has been pressed so hard through television, music, film, everything, school, cartoons? Why y'all violating the kids' space? They're pushing the cold line. Yeah, why y'all violating the kids' space? You know what I mean? Come on, you gotta get the parents some space to be parents, bro. Everybody ain't, you know, willing to go for the dark side. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it, it takes us back to when you asked me earlier when we just saw and you said, Man, it's crazy because it's like the government basically is just stepping in and telling us, you know, okay, even though you, you're an incubator, you just incubate, you had a baby produced and boom, bad, that's it. But we run we run the rules of the house, we run everything. And besides, nigga, you ain't shit, you just a donor. She getting the money because we give it to her jackass for free. So you ain't got shit to say. Because but that's that the black if, woman is if, the most educated woman in the world. If we if we, if we live up under the umbrella where they feel think about that, but just hear what I just said. Because yeah, they you see the program, county. but you see the program. Got I got social say. security. Now no, 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 all listen, that money off listen, your ass. Cool, cool. Listen, whenever you can come in and you step in and you put down the divide and conquer syndrome, oh, it's a wrap. When you can split up the black man and the black woman in that household of strength. Oh, it's a wrap, bro. That was the right to knowledge. That's what I'm saying. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. When you can make the black woman hate her black husband, the black king, the protector, and when the protector no longer become the protector, now his name is Hector. Yeah, you can't. It's it. a problem, bro. That was the Reagan's agenda. Drugs, drugs are going for you know what I'm saying? Now, the Obama, the, the, the Reagan agenda was fuck the black man, and now Obama is zesty world if you're a black man we want you zesty them and got zesty rappers every they say every rapper is zesty pete diddy got they say jay-z zesty they say, I, can't, I can't believe it it's everybody motherfucker. they got everybody zesty this is not my brother <laughs> They pull they, 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 they made a they made movie for the snitch what's that snitch movie that 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 dude from um, new york that's what uh, what they watered it down a lot. Oh, you mean, uh, man, they didn't sick. Are you talking about uh, Hayes and Jack? Right. No, not the uh, uh, pay the fool. And you could take that was a snitch. And then show TV land information. No, I just gotta go. I'm, no, I'm gonna do a whole thing. Oh, oh that's yeah, crazy, yeah, man. That's, 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 that's crazy. Yeah, I gotta do a whole man, subject. What's that? The, 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 the a, Kingpin and Harlem that told on everybody, uh, Denzel Washington played them. Oh, Nicky Barnes, yeah. He he was rap though. No, Nikki. Uh, yeah, he was oh, rap. Nikki, Nikki, yeah. What's what, what Frank the White made in America. Yeah, but what's your point? The the glorifying rats and homosexuals. As far as the new agenda. For a new agenda, you even they got they got rap rappers. The, the, what's the dude? He he go tell on this boy <coughs> and he have number one album. Oh, what's his nigga name? Everybody fuck with the. Um, yeah, she, she guy, I remember one nigga called me like, man, this nigga I ain't talking about here. That's that gunner snitch too. I don't yeah, know. You better believe the fans right there watching. You in LA screaming that shit. So, uh, so let me ask y'all. Let me ask you this, then, man. Let me ask you guys this question. Being from the streets, what neighborhood you grew up in, Pete? Uh, I grew up on Ninety Third Street. What neighborhood you grew up in, cool. Watts and the Zips. Now we all from the section of Watts, right? Being that you come from under, from from under that umbrella where the gang culture was really gang culture, gang bang. See, even though I'm I'm the big homie to you niggas, yeah, that's your big homie yeah. to you. Feel me? Yeah. So you see how the generations is, right? Yeah, right under but me, we grew right up, but we right grew right up in an era where it was on sight. Yeah, yeah. Like nigga, what? Yeah. Oh, nigga, where you from, homie? Yeah, where yeah. On sight, right? Yeah. yeah. So. I, I, I want you to express your opinion. <laughs> cool, you want to express your opinion. But tell me your opinion of how you feel about that as to how the generation has led the gang culture today to this watered down bullshit and how it is today. Man. What's your opinion, Pete? I think back in the days, homies was homies. So if if, if you're a homie, you're a homie. In any blood neighborhood, you know. They don't let you make it. They don't give you a pistol. They don't look out for you and do all that shit. Man, say, I need you back they up. Support I, you. I, hold on. I need you yeah. back up like you. 
I'm rewinding that tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that shit again, Pete. Because maybe we understand song. how we grew up. I'm dead. He's like any. He said, "Did you hear what he just said? Any Damu hood." Yeah, you was a homie. Yeah. Like, they're gonna, they're and gonna... power rules was blood. There wasn't no separation. Of power rules and bloods. And nigga, power rules was blood. <laughs> Us made power rules. <laughs> we here, man, come on, we all. <laughs> me and the young homie, two. Me and the young homie, killer. Two peas in the beat. We got to talk about this last night. We just had a long conversation about this last night. He said, "Big homie." He said, "But please tell me, where did it come to we not being what you is? You, you, a, you a Damu body hunter. You a legend hunter. I'm a blood." I say, "This, this internet." I say, "P, this, this internet, my nigga. It's this media shit. The separation. That's how when I was asked the question about the G homie Marvin, right?" Mar went on a platform. He didn't want to create that internet shit on the internet because mm -hmm. when he said that, he said, and I said, well, that was him and, and Wacky, <coughs> that was him and Wacky going at those them going at his shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm long as far as, as, I, far as I know, one hundred. Okay. I said, far as I know, nigga, uh, long as I've been living and been one of these real ones, I said, nigga, Paru's is bloods, and yeah. all my Paru homies that I know, nigga, from the gutter is real bloods. Yeah. Hit us. I said, well, all them yeah. all them casters dead from death row yeah. was blood. Them niggas wasn't high yeah. rule. On, they wasn't separated. Them niggas was blood. I grew Blue up with them niggas separated. on the blood modules, yeah. in Blue the penitentiary system, and on the street. A lot of niggas, the you feel what I'm saying? Them, and they feel like they, you know, sometimes you'll go to the county and the homies are separating and mask on you because your, your niggas ain't here. You ain't there. right, right, right. You know, you will feel you feel some type of way, and you will take it personal and segregate the whole camp. Oh, they did us like this. Ooh, ooh. Nigga wasn't that's that what whole car. But see, that's that's, that's where the separations come about. It right exactly. there, cool. So that's what you're saying. You got saying. to know how to dress your nigga, not the crew. I got to with this nigga. He made me feel this way. I went through it with this nigga, not the whole squad. Why? We all one. Homie. You can't. You know what I mean? You get a tour with one homie. You can't just blow up on everybody. You got to address your issue with your man. But a lot of men don't be man to man to face it. Man up to that shit. So they create another narrative. Oh man, fuck them niggas. They don't like us anyway. We this. A lot of niggas still got their bullshit agenda. Yeah, yeah. That the nigga we got are. a little money and they're gonna put their <laughs> bullshit agenda. They got a little are. little crash dummies that go under their shit. Niggas ain't got no structure. Niggas got some money. Mm -hmm. Get these crash dummies some, some lean as a potter. They, they're going by whatever another nigga say. Instead of just going by the protocol, yeah, niggas ain't right. got no knowledge of self and none of that shit. Yeah. But you know how I see it, man? I see, like, I think, man, everything happened for a reason, right? So just picture this step outside the box. God put us in a real life battle within self, within self, to have no heart, no cold, nothing to be able to storm and win the biggest war ever. So we going through live hand on combat right now with each other. Only those chosen gonna make it, but that chosen that's gonna make it gonna birth the new next generation with real structure back to the old week. Cause going to believe our live bullshit. It ain't gonna change. A lot of shit ain't gonna change out there. Oh no, it's, it's not. going it's to a... weave out the bullshit. It's, it's gonna be the chosen ones that want to change, that want to make a difference against these what fools saying, that that's don't want to change. Only the strong can survive. It's called survival. I remember that tree, but that was how many years ago? Yeah, that's that what shit old. Oh, so it ain't the strong survive no more. It's the wise survive. Because even the strong die. It's our visual. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. We gotta think. So we passed that now. We in yeah. this generation. Yeah. Man. yeah. So yeah. we gotta think like this. Cause, cause I us, think we play a chess, not that, checker. If that's the Maybe. case, we are the analogy of the strong. So in order for us to continue now, to survive in this generation, we, it ain't about strong, it's about why. Yeah. Just like you just said, yeah. the stronger get killed, and the coward they can shoot you because he's on the strip. Because he's scared of the side Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he going to get me. That's how he's telling me. Nigga, nigga ain't going to fight over here. Nigga ain't fighting over here. Nigga ain't doing none of that. Nigga, 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 nigga Brandon should have been and be like, Do you want to get out of this shot? Yeah, boom. You feel me? Yeah. It's a sleep shot. That's how I got shot. What you say? Say it again. Nigga just whipped. I said, Nigga, what you going to do? Shoot me. No, no. Say it again. I said, Nigga, you want to get out? And the nigga shot. You know what I'm saying? But he has some type of, I don't know, I ain't gonna even say weed, that's a whole nother page. But I'm just saying, but, but, look, yeah. but, but look at the, just look at the, the whole picture of it, like yeah. you just said. You was in a, okay, this is the G-Hum. Yeah, this is the G-Hum, nigga, we fight. We're in the hood. I just had one. Come on, man, I thought we had love you for him. You want to get out with nigga. this nigga? We smoke weed. We hang out together. I'm giving him a piece of weed. So, okay, it takes so us back. It takes us back to my question for both of y'all. 
I need to, I need your opinion. I need you to answer, then I want you to answer. Your opinion on today's today's society. You feel me? Well, well you did kind of answer. You said about the, how the homies was together back in the days and etc. I'm talking about right now, though, Pete. I, I think brothers need to go find God. If they're, they're finding with Allah or they're finding with Jesus, they got to find some type of structure. And then they got to find a medium where we could get together and uh, maybe a budget where big homies like you could teach the youth and structure is like we got to find a, a place at where we could teach because it's not about strength it's about wisdom so we just have to have a a, a building where we could teach them it's like have Farrakhan teach uh maybe a, a big preacher like td jakes would preach or You're something like that anybody, yeah. yeah there's some just give you know there's a spiritual awakening nah, so so hold, hold on hold, hold on because <laughs> he on my show rules ever gave the uncut hey, for the people by the people man. but i had to cut this thing off right uh, now uh, yeah. we ain't gonna have tv hey, TV. Like TV. <laughs> tv ain't stepping in the building no fuck tv that's TV. That's pity. That's you know that team over there. We ain't doing team, man. No, I'm just mean. I'm just mean. I got you. Just somebody. Just somebody that you. Yeah. So basically, we need to play. Yeah, yeah, play. We say who was who. So what you think, Cole? What's your opinion? Man, my opinion, like I said, you, you, I you say put, my opinion. You pushed that line already yeah. as far as so for my like, question, by, by you having a see, Spanish kid, yeah, and what you God have a Spanish see kid, me. you you deal with a lot of the Spanish, yeah. So you push that line as far as the racial barrier. Then what's your opinion now? And you coming from that era, like I said, because you you one of my riders. Well, I know the racial barrier. Hold on, I ain't finished. Come on, you one of my riders. You was a banker. Yeah. So coming from that transition. Yeah. And knowing keyways, knowing crypts, it's real niggas to yeah. me. Fucks yeah. with you. Yeah. What's your opinion today? Since it's my well, well, today. Well, my opinion of how it's like this. It's I damaging. grew up with it would be played to the lines. It was still going on, but I was too young to recognize. You know what I mean? And and I and I witnessed the genuine all kind of people, different people I met that was genuine people, you know what I mean? And um, so to me. I can see past that, you know what I mean? And if I could come with them Mexicans, we grew up with the Mexicans. Man, I just spent a little, spend a night at my homie house. They had five families in one house. They used to laugh. We used to sell oranges with the, the now they own five, six, seven houses on that same block. And we ain't own nothing. Niggas ain't own nothing. So I see the structure of what you can do when you stay focused and you stay as one as a unity. You know what I'm saying? But I also seen when we used to be doing a lot of our land things to aggravate them. We was mad at the other bigger oppressor. They was the closest thing to, to, a, to white as us. You know what I mean? So then we took a lot of shit out on them that didn't deserve it. I mean, we used to play games and say, should knock out this do shit to do shit to hurt a lot of other people, right? So, you know what I mean? They learned through the years of struggling, getting back up. Hey, we got to fight for self, man. We got to fend for self. If they don't want to embrace it, they don't want to know it. We used to be like this. We had Mexicans from the hood like this. It was like it was one. It wasn't about no Mexicans or blacks, nigga. We was all one. We had Mexicans banging from our hood, and we was like banging. We got Mexicans banging from. We got blacks banging from Mexican hood, because it wasn't about that. Whatever area you in, you was together as a family. It wasn't about so much as the color. So it's safe. So it's safe to say that to a certain extent, you know, it got active, it got cracking when we got twisted with the knowledge, the money, the dope, the guns, jumping off. Police did a lot, man. You live in the Nunez, you live in the Sanchez, you live in the Lopez. My nigga, Dur they killed Daryl McCoy. They killed, they killed a lot of real figures in Watts, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they had a gang. It was like a real gang that go and create the bullshit. Create the shit. They call us and get that. Bust on us and they say it was another two crips and come back and the rest of us. They used to pick us up, drop us off on the other side, nigga. Tell these niggas we got these niggas. Go get them. They get you know? right. I don't speak. What? And they come beat us, beating niggas up, chasing yeah. niggas down. We run the fight. We got whoop the whoop right here. Come on, man. Get your ass Set out. You yeah. Yeah. You come yeah. but, but when we go to complain, who do we complain to? DOJ? That's police. But you know what I mean? Police, police, police and police. But during that time of era when we acted like that, we young teenagers and shit come up in the game. We acted in the street. We don't know who to complain to. We ain't going to complain. This is the this shit. This is not going to happen right now. And, and we ain't going to complain yeah. because it comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like nigga, that. now they just tell you how to write a complaint. Go to your Congress or go to your this and that and that. As you get older, 
You figured this out. Back but, then, we didn't do no complaint. We didn't do we, snitch. Now we didn't do no snitch, no telling that. What? We handled it. You, you know what I mean? Or, you know, weather the storm. But at the end of the day, we just got to get back to the love. Like, I so love that's my what I'm boy. Say. I love you as a big homie. So if we got love, we got respect. If sister we don't have no respect, we don't have no love. We mm -hmm. got to bring back the sister togetherness. You know what I mean? And the and only way I see it is going to be with respect. You know what I mean? Respect, respect. You know, we all been through enough. We all lost a lot of people. We know we ain't going to bring them back. You know what I mean? So the more we create, the more we don't lose. We got to think for the future. Like, 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 for example... Like, those moments when, you know, it was a function, and the function was a particular individual, a particular individual was through a function, and they went through seven different hoods. They said, hey, homie, we're getting down this weekend, we want y'all to come, man, woo, woo, The love of that, you know what I'm saying? And when niggas came, it was really love. There wasn't no, oh, these dudes over here in this corner, or these dudes. That was like a homie. That's a homie. Yeah, because for one, everybody in the room is new. Get our shit right, 
and then we can write everybody in love because we write. But first thing we got to get right because ain't no shortcuts to get right. You got to go. You got to get right with God. You got to get right with yourself. Say that shit good. Too. You got to get right with God. You got to get right with yourself. You got to get right as a man. You got to learn respect. And you, it's like you, you're the best teacher. If you do a bullshit, niggas like these niggas got hidden agendas and shit. They're talking about we want peace. But these niggas pause is, that for hold it, hold that one second, man. Hey man, you tapped in, you tuned in right now, man. You been struck by lightning bolt, man. Rules of engagement, man. It's the watch round table, baby. We sit here, we freestyle it. For the people, by the people, to the people, man. Back to Pete. Hey Pete. Man, you just said some strong words, bro. Some very strong words. And what that means is what I, I've said all the time. <clears throat> when you take the time to make a transition to change in your life, that's any in in, in individual, right? Mm -hmm. That's when you're gonna find out. And you ain't got to be, see, certain leaders are born. Like, I was born. It was in my genes to, born, to lead, bro. I'm a, I'm a born leader. My father was a leader. His daddy was a leader. It's just in your genes to be able to lead, to teach, to guide, to provide, to protect. When you take an individual and an individual take the choice to want to change their life, first and foremost, that's leadership within themselves. Because he even made his mind. He or she said, man, enough is enough. I want out of this. I, 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 oh, I could be a little bit better. I could be better than this, right? That's greatness, right? Yeah. So now, like you just said, you can't half-ass do that. That's why I was just saying about the internet. You got niggas on the internet faking like they out of the game, but they still really in the game. You got niggas in the internet that's like, every word come out your mouth is either cause the blood, then you bang it, or you not bang it. If you bang it, why are you even on the internet? You supposed to be out there killing up shit. Therefore. This is what this is all we knew, right? Yeah. yeah. This is all we knew. We like, gave it. Yeah. 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 Come on, boy. Like, when y'all start telling, I ain't never seen see my, I ain't never in my life seen so many niggas confide in being gangster. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. Yeah, I'm a gangster. What does a gangster mean, my nigga? What What makes you a gangster? What makes you a gangster? You better tell the world you're a gangster. Because I thought niggas move in silence. I thought dangerous shit moved the way it's supposed to move in silence. You ain't gonna tell about it. You ain't gonna talk about it. I think they think they're gangsters and they know somebody want to kill their bitch ass. They ain't even did that. Nigga want to kill you. <laughs> Just to know you got an enemy. I'm a gangster. You can't get it. I can't figure it out. Cause we started. We got to go through something. What's that? Even be in the lineup to think you about something. Your enemies, your enemies yes. gotta know you like goddamn that nigga's on this shit. You know <laughs> Leave him alone. Come on, man. This is crazy, bro. It is crazy to you. Know, you know, that niggas, how could you get on the internet and sell one tickets, bro? And you lying to yourself, bro. How do you feel good about yourself? Knowing you a busty, talking all this shit, and don't want to take a face, don't want to surface, man. Come on, man. If a nigga talk shit on the internet and call you out and you say something you don't want to get in or you say you want to get in you don't surface, man, you look like the real hoe, bro. You might as well don't even go on your internet show. Man, keep that shit to yourself. But that's a world that's a world to be in now. It's acceptance. Cyber sex has. Yeah, it's acceptance now. Like, it's, that's the shit they want to see, though. Yeah. They want to see nigga fake art. Fake fight. Everything is acting. Yeah. Acting, acting, acting. Oh, man, we play. Well, that ain't in the sports. Man, nigga, they're making gangsterism uh, scripted. <laughs> so this is why I said, this is why I asked both of y'all that question, right? So now I'm gonna flip it to myself, my opinion. Me being a general boy, coming from where I come from, and experiences I've been through in my life, and to look at the gang culture that's today, that shit is despicable to me, bro. Right? It's embarrassing. It's regretful because I live. I, I know for a fact I live my life in regrets in a lot of ways. Given 30 years of my life actively to them streets like that, but when I convert it to a whole other era of my leadership, you feel me? It's a something great. You feel me? So <clears throat> when I look back on it and look at it today, it's all embarrassing to me, bro. It's embarrassing. You can't look at it like that. No, follow me. Follow what I'm saying. Cool. It's embarrassing, bro, to me as the real guy move because. The B have been not so, it just niggas just gave it away. And you got niggas all over the world claiming this Dabu shit, but we really got our asses whooped, stoked out, died, shot, killed on sight. Crips did this on sight during the era of the gang culture of gang banging. So to come out of that element, 
to really survive and live and see this shit. It's like, man, so to me, it's like you motherfuckers ain't banging. And that's a good thing. If we don't have it like we was in the bloody age. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's the same thing I was saying about your boy. Stop false promoting. Now you're in a position to make a change. You're the leader of this company, but when you used to be the employee of this company, you didn't like the way the company was getting ran. You didn't like the way it made you feel. But then now you're the leader of the same company now. You want to make people feel the same way. It puts the savings in it. I don't understand that. Right. The narrative is the same. Yeah, exactly. It's like you didn't learn. You just got burned and you became the ashes. Of the that, 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 that takes us back to that, that, that leadership, but That takes us back to yeah, the just that right about that the agenda. agenda. If your leadership was really real and your agenda was real, you're going to stick to the script. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really a changed person. I'm a changed man. I want to see the betterness for my people. I want to see change exactly. in my That's people. That's the same thing I, I said. Do the boy with my people. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 And before you went to jail, man, you're the perfect person, person every day, man. Like, you know what I mean? You got a car, move, move, you make a change. You said you lost spot. You went to this and that. You just make a change and you, you the whole game. He said, that's a great idea. But everything hey, is timing. And right now, who, who, time. who, 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 who <laughs> you say you stepped to with that? Uh, yeah, cool. Hey, one of y'all player problems is Sign it. Yeah. Oh, sign yeah. it. You already know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and I told you the same shit. So now I wanted to ask you, now is the time, man? I'm put you on the podcast and you popping this shit. I've been trying to tell you to pop it on you. Down ago. Down and hey, caught hey, up to hey, so hey, I, was like, I was like years before you. You catching up now. Now is the time to you know, build you, it. it. That's because resources. That's or, because that sit down. See that, see that sit down? When God take us, we <clears throat> place our ass in a situation where he got you. You ain't got no, no other time in the world to do it than nothing but think. And you're in that eight by eight, man. God, he gonna eat you up. Especially if you ain't got a seven. You like this, nigga. You know the pace we all go through in the show. Hell yeah. Because you ain't got never this much room with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the pace we all go through. When he put you in that position, my nigga, and sit us down. You ain't got no other choice but to think. That's the position you need to explain. So now, all that subconscious positive talk that Cass was giving him, like Cass like yourself. See, only us niggas who wasn't scared of a nigga is going to tell him nigga what's real. See, when you got yes men around you, that's why Pissy Diddy going to fall. He had nothing but yes people around him. Nothing but the yes people. And niggas didn't understand why Heavy D was the only dude who used to talk to Pissy Diddy. Heavy D can walk in the room, Pissy D in the room with full of people, Heavy D like this. Let me holler at you, son. Pissy D, stop what he's doing and go holler at Heavy D. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Because it was a respect mechanism of communication amongst them two. And then they do with the Fooly Tooty shit. It was Heavy D was this nigga real mentor because he wasn't no yes boy to the nigga. He would tell them, hey, nigga, you slipping, son. You tripping. So, and we all need that at some point in our life. As men, bro, if you slipping, I want my homie to tell me. They don't tell me just because, you know, I'm a G homie. No, they let me know. They mean accountability partners. You feel me? Because I may be slipping right there at that moment to the point where it could cost me, you, all of us. Yeah. Prison or death. But if you snap me out of it that moment, I go, damn, you right, my nigga, damn. That ain't got nothing to do with fear or that's love, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If Most you know, niggas got you got the yes niggas around you. I respect your call. Man. Yeah, you, you, you do it. I'm gonna take into consideration of what you ask me and what you tell me, especially in any kind of situation. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna shine you. I'm not gonna throw you like fuck. I'm not gonna. You know what I mean? You my homie. I'm gonna take consideration of what you have to say. Like the long story short, yeah. we all saying that somehow, in some way, the love in our community. Disappear. This is like I don't kill you before I talk to you. Get down with you. It's like it's like everybody hate each other, and and we ain't expressing love. We got we got Jesse Jackson's. We got more Jesse Jackson than Farrakhan. Yeah, well, it got a lot to do, like you said, the internet, and it's been directing these niggas the wrong way, and then it also got to do with the trust. The trust is shattered, bro. If you can't trust nobody, you can't learn nobody. That's right. So they think it ain't no trust in the streets, ain't no love in the streets. You know what I mean? So over, one event, over one event, they don't want to go over here no more. 
They don't trust that area. They but, the key, but the key blockness to it all, though, the key blockness to it all is the root of all evil. And it's the money. It's the money. See, remember, like I said, it's, it's the times and days where, let me tell you, go back. All right, a million in the room. Y'all just left. He couldn't want my boys to come in the room. And he a hunter. He a body hunter. Oh, big homie, I didn't know you fuck that nigga P or, or cool. Yeah, I fuck with him. Nigga, what the fuck you mean? You didn't know. What, 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 what? Yeah, you got something to say? <laughs> See, ain't no more of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sit right here and let your punk ass talk about these two niggas. It's my own boys. They ain't from my hood, but I'm from, we from the same hoods because we represent the same shit. We got moves. Yeah. Despite they from this block over that block. They my homies. So uh, my real leadership is to check your ass as my home, boy. You wrong, nigga. Mm -hmm. hey, hold, hold on. You got some? Hey, hey, my nigga, come here right quick. Hold on before y'all leave. Hold on. My homie got something he want to express to one of y'all, man. Because he seems to see he don't like y'all. See, I used to do niggas like that. Yeah. Get him on black. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you feel me? Now, now you're going to find out that the very nigga you say you don't like, he got hundred boys. He got hundred boys, nigga. So yeah, yeah, go on over there and take that ass whooping. Mm -hmm. And learn to shut your mouth. Yeah. Or be a man and tell that other nigga, nigga I don't like you. Yeah. Cause that's what I used to do to nigga. Nigga, nigga, fuck you. You I better not pass that. my weed then. Nigga, you know I, fuck I, I see, you. I just see niggas try to take it out on the weakest link. They, nigga, you got a problem with this nigga. Don't try to step to me, nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You're out of your business, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of my eyes, nigga. Unless you need help, bro. You need help, let me know. Yeah. Yeah. You need help, tell me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my niggas get it to it. If I can't break it up, I get out the way. I'm going to unless you need some help. You need some help, then I'm going to help the niggas. Say something, nope. Don't be over there. I don't know. One time I walked in. I see you ain't getting down for the getting. I'm sorry. I know you ain't going to get it out. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's just crazy, bro. So all, all together, man, it's just the world we in because everything changed. Everything changed. This is your change. It's, it's just like when we were growing up, our generation shit changes. I get that. But when it comes down to our race, our culture, this is primarily what I'm speaking of as a whole, us as a people. It's like, boy, it's got to be some changes, some type of adjustment. When our leaders, or the ones that look up to, change, that's what I'm saying. When our leaders that they look up to, like it's hurting the industry with them to see all the actors and singers that's bad as homosexuals, our kids look up to them, that's breaking their heart. So that's why they're trying to make it seem like it's okay to be that. Like your actors, your superstar, they still pushing the agenda on top of the agenda. You know what I mean? But we got to support each other, bro. It's going to take not just one event. It's going to take some years. It's going to take some time. But it's going to take the brothers like me and you that really meant something in this shit to really confess that, hey, look, this is like you said. It's a better way. We can go about this in different. You know what I mean? We gotta set the legacy. Like they said, like we was the ones that part of the game. We gotta, we gotta set the stage. Break it down. Yeah, we set the stage. We, right. we set the hip hop rules, they fought. Rid us a panel, this is what's going on. This is what it's gonna be like. But then, and then in a sense though, it's crazy how we can take and put 25 dudes together to say, hey, man, these niggas just did this over here to me, homie, woo. Nigga, what, 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 niggas, be, hurry up, be ready to join. Not even ask the questions. Yeah. Ready to go put that work in, yeah. right? Yeah. But now I'm going to flip it. Hey, my nigga, I got $4,200 in my pocket. You got a spot, you got a spot. You got, what, 2700 in your pocket? You got 32 in your pocket? You can go and get four more homies. And we start piecing that shit together. Then we take that and map it out. We come up with a game plan and we produce our first function in the fourth of business. See, we can't talk like that. We can't come together like that. Go back down we, to we, what? We program. Trust. Go all the way back down to that family trust. That controls the family money when the people fucking up. You know, Papa built this family trust. Because Bobo might spend too much money on Al might have too much money, so this is an equal. That's why we got accountability trust. partners. Yeah. When, you know what I mean? That's what you said. When all these doing bullshit, you, you, you like that. You gotta have accountability partner. Yeah. I mean, you you slacking, you tricking, you tricking too much. You you think you think did you you gotta you gotta be smart. You gonna be you gonna be 
I'm just saying, like, like, if, if iron sharpens iron, if, if, if a nigga but, falling off, like you said, uh, nigga doing something, talking about a homie, nigga, you would trust the homie. Uh, you gotta, you gotta stand up. It's too many yes, man. That's right, let, man. let these dudes do, do whatever. And, <laughs> because what they don't realize is this, dog. If I allow a party to step in and start talking negative about this particular party who just walked away, what does that make me look like? For real, for real. I'm a two-faced ass nigga. I'm not no. I'm, I'm not trying to know. You smiling the face. Come on, I, there's no way I can be real. There's no way I can be the solid leader that I'm supposed to be. There's no way, bro. Why you cut him off? Why ain't got nothing to do with that That's right. It's two ways to handle that. Hey, nigga, I killed dead that shit right now. I'm gonna call you back. Feel me? Dead that shit right now. But the righteous way? No. But shut the fuck up. Hold on, real nigga. I'm calling back. You should know what it's about. When the nigga see the nigga he don't like and say it to you instead of him. Yeah. You bitch ass nigga. Cause you know what you know what type of nigga you is. You, you, you might go on the fuck with him while he, he already with him. You feel me? You feel me? So if I got a problem with you, I'm not gonna do it. Keep your own right there on me. What that make me look like back in my days, nigga, that made you look like a bitch. Oh, I know. We gonna use ourselves. Hold on, we're gonna use ourselves as a prime example. We're gonna use ourselves as a prime example. This of experience it just happened about an hour and a half ago. Doing the entrance and coming in. I ain't seen Peter in a minute. This my wife too. You my big man, you my nigga. Yeah. I don't know Pete with you. I just know you hit me while I'm on my other live. Hey, then I'm at the door. Open the door, G, but I don't know. Yeah. I open the door. I get surprised. Oh, it ain't just cool. It's my nigga Peter with you. Know. But through protocol. Respect the protocol. What's the first thing that came out your mouth? Oh, hold on, bro. You said, they told me he ain't cool because I said, hey, you brought this nigga Pete with you? You know how I get it. You brought this nigga Pete with you? Hey, hold on, nigga. You got Pete with you? You go, oh, hold on. He, he ain't no good. What's, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. He what? He ain't been 100. I said, oh, no. Nah, that's Pete with star, man. Come on, man. I said, no. Nah, Pete has been on my deal for the last few days, so it's just ironic. Yeah. He was with you. It was just a surprise. Yeah. Prime example, though, man. Yeah, I me real know. shit, bro. You know, protocol. And see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You get the shit right to the nigga. Like, right. yeah. you didn't even Well, I know how we get down. Right. It don't matter who I'm with. Ain't gonna be respectful. You ain't gonna, I don't ever got a cap. I got this nigga. I bring this nigga with yeah. me. Like, what up? What up? You know what I respect the same way. Like, that is, that is how God works. You pull up with me. 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 In this lane, it could be my enemy. I'm gonna respect you because you with why? Why? Even, why? even why? if we ain't got our shit together, I'm still gonna respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, <laughs> that's it's like homies. Whoever their company is, the homies don't fuck with the homie company, and, and we can go anywhere as long as you you have your company, as long as you a stand up dude. If you a mark, niggas gonna mark you out. Yeah, that's just that, that's just the way it is. Yeah. So when I'm with Baby Speedy, I go everywhere. And it's said, well, I'm with the homie. I'm with the homie. That's why. That nigga, did he turn himself back in and go back to jail? Man, shit. I don't know. Last time, last time he was in the joint. Yeah, he's in the joint. And then his boy, uh, uh, what? The, uh, Troy Lyon is bubble. Oh, man. Yeah, he's supposed to bark it out. They're doing some, um, movie. I think they're doing something else. Yeah, he was in the joint with Tato. Last time I talked to him. Yeah. So yeah, man, ATV land, man. We like I say, man. You tapped in, you tuned in. The rules of the games at twenty four fourteen, man. It's your favorite host, CEO Nino Cappuccino. I see that chat box is lit up, man. Let me where my readers at, man. Where my readers at, man. Let me see that chat box is lit up, man. Texas made what it do, Keyway LA. What it do, Keyway? It's my homie right there, my partner, man. He said, "Sounds like a robot. Sound like he a robot. Yeah, he a robot, man." Dominique Mayweather in the building, <laughs> Robert Taylor, the Tweak is, what's up, Tweak is? So yeah, man, salute to the watch boy. They say salute to the watch boy. Yeah, man, I, I kind of like this panel right here, man. I'm going to have to tap in. We may have to hit y'all once a week or something, man, with the watch boys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we like that panel, yeah, man. Yeah, like yeah we're going to be on the red yeah, couch like next ball. time, man. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, boy, this is not a big
Gotta move him sound like a payroll. Payroll. <laughs> Tune in, man. Y'all let me know. I want to know through your comments, man, because I see the comments when they come in. Y'all yeah, let me know yeah. how y'all like the Watch Boy uh, yeah. Roundtable, man. Yeah. Should I bring them back, man? Yeah. Should yeah. I bring yeah. the Watch yeah. Boys? Yeah. Should I bring the Watch yeah. Boys yeah. back, yeah. man? Yeah. Should yeah. I bring them back, TV yeah. man? Y'all let me know. Yeah. Drop them yeah. comments. Yeah. Drop your opinion, man. Yeah. What's yeah. up with yeah. you, man? Hey, look here, though. Before we close out, before we close out, though, I like to always close the segment out, man, with something. Something positive to our people, to our children out there, to the youth, man. So we're gonna start with Pete right quick. Pete, main camera, with the closing out, man. What would be your advice to a youngin out there, man, that's in the streets right now, that may be watching us right now at this moment? He may be on his phone, standing on the box, smoking one, and watching us, but he's confused and lost, man. What would be your advice to a youngin out there, man? I fucked up my life. You don't have to fuck up your life. A fine guy, get educated, and eat organic food, and go back to the natural remedies to heal yourself instead of just man-made medicine that's killing us. Gems, man. Gems, man. Real, real Gems. Real. I like that cool. The same thing, like you said, we are what we eat. That's what they used to tell us when we was little. You are what you eat, so be careful what you eat. It's like the first segment, they give us the ice cream cookies, candies, and everything, you know, and knowledge is important. The more you know, the further you can go, you know, they try to put a cap on our knowledge so we can we can elevate it to find out who we really are. You see, Putin just a knowledge that Jesus was black. After all these years, we knew that, we felt it in our heart, you know, grandma, we seen it, we did our whole thing, right? But for them to announce to the whole world, that's a big movement, that's good. History, legacy, we was here to see that because I always wanted to see that and I feel like, you know, God gave me. You wanted the confirmation of it. And can't nobody tell me nothing now. They couldn't tell me nothing then that God wasn't God and Jesus wasn't real. So it's one an entity out there, man, that do exist. So once so it don't believe that. So once it by the time, you I know, pray every day, every once, it, once it by the time being from that world of that culture and being lying on that hospital bed have to be passed back together in numerous places from being shot with gunshot um, wounds. I'm talking about heavy wounds. I want you to tell someone out there, this a youngin, who was once in our position, because we both got hit in caves. We both, we both got shit knocked off our bodies before. I want you, what's your opinion about being shot, though? Is that shit something to glorify or Educate. Well, I would never say glorify because, well, I mean, it depends on what life we live in. But the life we trying to live, we would be nothing never to glorify. Because if we got hit, you really, most of the time, was out of there. You know, if God saved you and gave you another chance, it's because he wanted to use you as a vessel or a lesson to somebody else that had to win through that. So we don't have to learn the hard way. I can learn from cool mistakes. He told me if I do this, this was gonna happen. So I can save a lot of people a head, headache or you know a hard time. You know with the knowledge that we share with the Jews we drop. How so many times did you get hit? I got hit three times. Where? Uh, both um, in the um, artery in the right leg went straight through both legs and then right here in the back I mean, the, the wound, the scalpel, and he kept it out. And then how long did it put you down? I was down for like about six months, almost seven, eight months, you know, really before I got up and was moving again. I thought it wasn't no better. And what kind of, and what kind, what kind of 
mental and emotional process did that take you through, cool? Man, it was a spiritual battle. And that's how God let me know it was real. Because every time I entertained the thought that with this bitch ass nigga, my surgery went back. Then I'm back up under the knife praying for God to save me. Ugh. So I realized this. I can't send a hit out on my deathbed when I'm begging for forgiveness. Ooh. Ooh. Me. So Ooh. I'm going to send a hit out when I'm begging God. So me three times I was going to get this nigga knocked. And every time my surgery went bad, blood clot, I'm bleeding again. I got to go back to surgery. Cool thing, what you doing? Heavy. And then man. that's what I came up. Niggas just steady calling me. What you want me to do? What you want me to do? I said, look, damn, if I got to tell you what to do, you're the wrong nigga for the job. Um, we had hey, to hey, 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 vengeance is the Lord. This, the crazy this part, day, part, the crazy part, part about it is, is we had this conversation come on, come on, before, like and you told me the same thing. The same thing is really, really, really. That's, and homies couldn't save me though. You know what I mean? Homies couldn't save me when I got shot. I seen myself laying on the ground, half of the ghost. They didn't make it up. And, but no, bottom line, as far as the elements of protocol, when it comes down to the streets and the rules, that's rule number one. If you got to come ask me, you, know, you see I'm laying in the bed on my hospital bed talking about what you want me to do. And that's another thing. I don't need you to That's another that. thing I want to ask your partner. You feel me? You know, no, I don't know. Need you to do that. No, but sometimes. It'd be out of love and out of, you know, just normal protocol. Right, yeah, right. What's up, man? What's up? Well, you, what's up? Well, you, 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 well, you make a point. What's happening, man? What's up? You so like, so like, you so give me the job. So it all depends. Dude. Yeah, Some yeah. Things. So I can look at it like on both sides. But I'm like, girl, nigga, I'm like, man, if it was me and it was you. I'm so gone. Was, I'm <laughs> gone already. We, we, I'm already. I'm 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 like that. That's what made me reevaluate my game. That's what made me reevaluate all the close niggas I had to me, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't moved. Y'all gotta ask me, y'all gotta wait on me. The nigga, what? That made me cut everybody in loose on my circle. We evaluate my circle. My shit got tighter and righter. Jills, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, but right here, man. Rules of a game, man. Y'all heard it right here. Raw, riveting, man. Uncut. For the people, by the people. My opinion hey, to the same question to my youngest out there. Hey, man. As Peter Weistraw just told you, said, I've always said it, man. Take your young asses okay, back to school, bro. What we're lacking, what we're missing, and what, what they didn't teach us, what they failed to teach us, you feel me, was we were supposed to educate ourselves from a trade perspective. So when we were growing up, we went to trade school automatically when we were in junior high school. When you went to junior high school, then you, your class, three of your classes was either going to be horticulture, construction, Welding, or uh, uh, what else was in? What, what else trade? Oh, cooking. Yeah. This is how most guys learn how to cook without your mother teaching how to cook. Woodcraft. So we had trades. Yeah. If we don't get funding for us cats like us, like I was just saying earlier, to build a committee, put our own committee together. I'm talking about keyways and diamonds, bloods from central areas, from different areas. I'm talking about all cities, not just Los Angeles. Come together for as a committee. And we go bail down these damn congressmen's doors, the mayor, the politicians of our cities, and sit down with their ass to rectify a plan with those who really in the politic position who want to see change. Because all of them don't want to see change. That's how they get their money. Let's be reasonable here now. If we don't do this and come together, bro, and get the funding to be able to take the funding and facilitate it back to the communities for our kids to have a chance to have a prosperous new future, and that's through education, then we ain't going to see no new future, bro. The future going to be worse, and it's going to be darker than what it is now, man. Hey, man, I'm your host, CEO Nino Cappuccino, a.k.a. Bonnie Hunter, BJ, the Breeze in, man. You sitting here right now collectively, you're listening to the new panel that I just put together just on the top of my head today, man. Let me know if y'all want to see us back, man, see us together, man, again, man. And not only would it just be just us two, just these two right here, I mean, it's going, I'm going to collectively, eventually, it might be about five or six of us, but all of us collectively for Watts. I'm talking about, I want some keyways involved as well, man. So for those out there listening to me, reach out to me, man. Hit my DM, man, if you want to be a part of something great, man. Something coming together as far as unification and unity, man. Pro-black. Hey, man, you know what I say over here. Don't drink and drive, baby. Don't drink and drive. And we can't help it over here in this Mike W, man. Little W's up, baby. Uh, the mighty W.
We are always taught to survive, man. We are always taught to survive. And I'm out here. Yeah. Ah, let's go. I'm going to go another thing.